Hi folks, I'm Kelly Koleffel with Fivetran and today I'm going to take you through a live demo of how Fivetran accelerates building Gen AI applications for customer service. We'll do that in Google Cloud with BigQuery, Google Cloud Storage and Vertex AI. Fivetran is a fully automated and fully managed data movement platform that supports delivering high quality, usable, trusted data for all of the data workloads in BigQuery. Those include data warehousing, data lakes, SQL BI, BQML, and Vertex AI. The integration with BigQuery and Vertex AI is really special. That's what I'm going to highlight today. Vertex AI, as part of Google Cloud, includes a studio experience, Gen AI, APIs, foundational models, and a number of ways to quickly build applications. My focus today will be setting up with Fivetran a variety of connectors to sources that house my customer service data. That data, pretty much in any enterprise, typically is scattered across multiple platforms, including operational databases, file systems, and applications like Jira, Zendesk, and Slack. Fivetran will move that data into Google BigQuery. I'll quickly prototype both a simple Gen AI search app and a chat app in Vertex AI from some of those data sets. In order to build those Gen AI apps, though, I need contextual focused data specific to my organization. And that's where Fivetran's automated data platform comes in. Fivetran allows you to centralize data while modernizing your data infrastructure, achieving greater data self-service, something that everybody needs, and building differentiating data solutions like Gen AI apps. What you'll see today from Fivetran is fully automated and fully managed, and everything's out of the box, ready to go with zero code and zero maintenance. This is Fivetran SaaS. I have multiple data sources already flowing into BigQuery. You see SAP, Workday, SQL Server, GA4, and S3, among others. I'll add a new connector now. Fivetran has over 500 source connectors out of the box, and I've got multiple options for Postgres SQL. That's where one of my customer support data sets lives. As always, I have detailed documentation in the right gray navigation. I talk a lot about predictability, standardization, and optionality. I can choose my schema prefix name, and I don't have to create that ahead of time. From there, Fivetran needs to know how to authenticate to the PostgreSQL database, and that's what I'll provide here. Host name, user, password info, and the database I want to access in that Postgres instance, which is the industry database. I also have multiple connection options for this Postgres database. Those include SSH, reverse SSH, VPN, Google Private Service Connect, and a proxy agent. Today, I'm going to connect directly. Just like you have optionality with connection methods, you can also have multiple options for change detection in the database. For Postgres, I can go with Wall, X-Men, or use Fivetran Teleport Sync. That's what I'm going to use for today. It's a log-free change detection mechanism. Fivetran will now run connection tests to the database. We will encrypt all data in motion and use TLS to do that. It's going to allow for both encryption and authentication of the connections that Fivetran makes to that database. Any data that sits ephemerally in the Fivetran service is also encrypted with AES-256. Fivetran is going to finish running the connection tests, and you're looking for that nice green box that all the connection tests have passed. There it is. Let's move on. Fivetran then connects to and fetches a source schema table and column selection that you have access to in that Postgres SQL database. For this industry database, we have 12 schemas available. You can sync all schemas, all tables, all columns for this connector, or I can selectively determine my data set, which is what I want to do today. I just want the interactions table in the customer service schema. I'm going to block all the other schemas and tables from moving into BigQuery. Fivetran then needs to know how you want to handle incremental changes since a schema may change in the future. Table may drop, table may be added, columns, etc. I'm going to allow all. Once I have those selections saved and tested, that's it. I'm ready to start syncing my customer service interactions data set from Postgres to BigQuery. Remember that not only will Fivetran move the interactions data set we just selected doing that initial historical sync, but if there are any changes to that table or those columns, CDC is automatically set up for you. No code and any incremental changes are captured as well at whatever schedule you prefer. If I jump up to the setup page for this connector, you'll see that for incremental syncs, I can schedule those anywhere between every one minute and 24 hours. All right, the initial sync completed while we were taking a look at the Fivetran UI. Here I am in the BigQuery Studio. You can see the other existing data sets that are already there that I can work from. There's a Postgres schema as well, 
And there is the table that Fivetran moved over, the customer service interactions data set that we wanted. The key thing is that Fivetran is providing a faithful one-to-one -one representation of the interactions data set source to BigQuery, and that data is GenAI app ready. Before we create our GenAI app, I want to show you how easy it is to build a complete corpus of focused, contextual customer service data for GenAI apps. I want to quickly create several other data sets in BigQuery by connecting to some other sources. I'll go through this quickly, but it's important to keep in mind that your AI apps will only be as good as your data. And for a production gen AI application, you're going to need some additional contextual data sources. Today, I'm going to go with Slack, Zendesk, and Jira. The Fivetran application connectors connect via an API, and to connect Slack to Fivetran, you simply need access to an active Slack account. Big shout out to Angel Hernandez at Fivetran. He provided me with a Slack demo account. I provide the schema name, authorize the API, and Fivetran does the final connection test, and that's it. I'll start that initial sync. Fivetran supports both Jira on-premise and Jira cloud. How we connect to Jira depends on which Jira installation you have. So to connect your Jira account to Fivetran, you need your Jira host name, your port, a connecting user with the relevant permissions. I can use either OAuth or basic authentication. There's also an application link configured in Jira that links the apps together. You'll also use your consumer key and public key in the Jira form. In this case, that Jira step was done for me. Lastly, I get to choose the issue sync mode. Either I can sync from all projects or pick selected projects. And here I'll choose a couple of sample projects. Also, Fivetran has quick start data models available for the Jira connector, and I'd like Fivetran to build those models for me now in Google BigQuery using dbt. Let's start our third sync. Another data set that I'd like to add to BigQuery is my customer support information that lives in Zendesk. Fivetran has multiple Zendesk connectors and setup is predictably very fast and very easy. All I really need is my Zendesk support domain name and a Zendesk account with an administrator role. As you saw with Jira, Fivetran has the out of the box data models and we have the same thing for the Zendesk quick start package. These give you analytics ready data. I don't need a DBT project or any third party tools to get this kicked off. Fivetran takes care of everything for me in the background. And our fourth sync is now rolling Zendesk to BigQuery. All right, here's all those data sets and I feel really good about my customer service data set now. I'm going to jump back out to BigQuery. I have my customer service data centralized. I have a modern self-service approach to building out now my Gen AI apps on those contextual data sets. I didn't mention earlier, but if you'd like to use the same customer service interactions data set that I have in Postgres, you can find it in GitHub at the link below. At this point, there are 26 sources flowing into BigQuery, and over the last few minutes, you saw how to set up four of those. I'm now going to move to the right side of the architecture and start using Vertex AI and BigQuery to build a couple of simple Gen AI apps. I'll start with a search app, and then I'll set up a chat app as well. They'll both be focused on customer support. Personally, I like the chat app a little more, but definitely let me know what you think. If you haven't checked out Vertex AI lately, I will hit a couple of highlights. You can build generative AI apps really quickly. You have a range of models to choose from. Train, test, tune ML models on a single platform. Uh, you can accelerate development with this unified data and AI approach and then ultimately reduce uh, training time and costs. See, I jumped out to the Vertex AI main dashboard and working environment there. There are a ton of capabilities. We're going to just touch on a couple of them today. I'm going to go out to search and conversation, and that is where we're going to begin our Vertex AI journey. I've got a few apps that I've already built out here, but I want to add a new app, and I have my choice of search, chat, and recommendations. We'll actually do a couple of those today. The declarative approach with Vertex AI search and conversation is really good for someone like me that is not an ML engineer or a data engineer. I want to start with a new search app. The configuration step is really straightforward. You name the app, you provide a company name and location. From there, I'm going to let Vertex AI know which data store I want to be the foundation for my app. I've got some available, but I actually want to access that customer service interactions data that I consolidated into BigQuery earlier. I'm going to search for my schema and then let Vertex know the type of data that I'm using. In this case, it's going to be structured BigQuery tables. I need a unique name for my data store. I select it, 
It's going to process and be off to the races. Remember, Vertex is going to automatically train, test, and tune the model for me. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and create a Gen AI chat app as well. So you can see the apps that I've got now. I am going to go ahead and create a new app. And creating a chat app with Vertex AI follows the same process we just saw with a search app. This time, though, what Vertex AI is going to do is take me through an agent configuration. Once again, once I get finished with that configuration, I'm going to choose my data set. I'll create a new data store from another version of the customer service interaction data that this time is in Google Cloud Storage in unstructured PDF format. Do want to make a quick note, Fivetran can move any type of structured or semi-structured data into BigQuery, relational tables, uh, CSV, JSON, XML, Parquet, Avro, you name it. This PDF, though, I did drop into GCS separately along with some of the semi-structured docs that I'd moved in with Fivetran. And once again, uh, Vertex AI is going to automatically train, test, and tune the model for me. We'll take a look at what models Vertex is using here in just a little while. All right, I'm back on the Vertex AI app page. Take a look at our customer service search app. Before we preview it, uh, let's check out the data foundation. Remember, this was the structured form of the interactions data set. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the search preview page and run a couple of simple searches. Remember that I've done nothing other than the configuration that you saw a bit earlier. And if I want to format my search results, it's easy to do. Have some nice controls in the widget tab. I'll show you the integration tab right now, but for now we won't do anything with that, but we will when it comes to the chat application. The model for my customer service search app is still being trained, so I'm going to use the CS chat app that I built a little bit earlier today. It's the same data set. It's that customer service interactions data set. Uh, for chat, Vertex takes me into the dialog flow palette, the dialog flow CX palette. Let's uh, test our agent out. It's a relatively small data set, but remember it's focused and contextual. I'm gonna run some tests in the simulator and then we'll add the agent to um, kind of a simulated website in CodePen. As you might expect, I'll ask some typical customer service questions. You know, I wanna know about shipping options. I'd like to know about order cancellation. I'd like to maybe make a change to my order and see how the Vertex AI chat application responds to each of those. It's really solid. The model was trained quickly. Uh, this app was actually built, I built it a couple of hours ago, and I like the responses so far that it's giving me very, very cool. I didn't have to do any additional configuration or setup. I didn't have to input any sample answers or you know, test answers or questions or anything like that. This is all happening in, in real time and certainly everything can be tuned further as well within Vertex AI. Okay, I am happy with that app and I wanna publish it now. Vertex AI auto generates the code I need in order to add the agent to my website. Since I don't have a website, I'm gonna use CodePen. I'll put the link below. It's an online community for testing and showcasing simple apps and code snippets that you have. Uh, check it out if you have not before. I'm gonna name this pen Customer Service Chat 2. And then all I've gotta do is copy in or paste in that code, I should say, that Vertex gave me. And I should see my agent, uh, yeah, there it is, that blue bubble pop up, ready to go. I would also expect the behavior to be very similar to what we just saw in the Vertex simulator. Uh, we'll test it out now, maybe give it a greeting to kick off there, just to be, uh, be friendly as much as possible. Uh, check out shipping options and a couple of other things like we did previously in directly in the Vertex simulator. Uh, you can also, interestingly, you can see the source. That's that source coming out of uh, Google Cloud Storage. So overall, I'm really happy with this chat app, uh, the data set, the build, the integration, the performance, and the fact that to do all of this, I didn't need a team of data engineers and ML engineers for eight or 10 or 12 sprints or more. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm back out in Vertex AI, and I did want to show you some of the agent settings for this chat app. That's the Generative AI tab, and you can see that I'm using Gemini Pro. You've got your choice of models there, and then I've got a couple of other selections here. I can enable grounding and 
provide heuristics filters, a lot of different options there. Uh, speech and IVR integration, a number of things that you can do. We're, we're barely, barely scratching the surface here with, uh, with Vertex AI in this chat application. I did mention uh, integrations earlier. I wanted to show you that um, you can set up very easily a phone gateway. I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but I will set up a quick phone number. Uh, if you dial that phone number, I tested it out, you get the same kind of prompts. I can ask it, hey, what are your shipping options? Uh, all those types of things and, and get a really nice, uh, pretty much the same response back that we're seeing in that uh, chat application there. So, so that's pretty cool. It's a nice integration that Vertex AI gives you there as well on the, on the audio side. I want to circle back to Fivetran Transformations real quick. Fivetran provides seamless integration with DBT, including more than 20 quick start data models, including for two of the connectors, which uh, I set up today, Jira and Zendesk. The quick starts allow you to automatically produce analytics ready tables using pre-built data models. You go ahead and transform your data with no code, no additional DBT projects or any third party tools required. You can also connect to your own DBT core project with dozens of additional DBT packages that Fivetrans developed. Transformations include integrated scheduling. They automatically trigger model runs following the completion of Fivetran connector syncs. And you can check out the wide range of connectors that support either quick start data models for transformations or DBT Core, and now DBT Cloud is also supported. So you have three options for whatever transformation needs you have. Folks, it's that easy to build a couple of quick Gen AI apps with Google BigQuery and Vertex AI. Fivetran is going to ensure that any and all data movement to the Google Cloud is standardized and automated across any data source with each fully automated and fully managed pipeline providing reliability, scalability, predictability, and security and context for Gen AI apps. If you'd like to discuss your requirements for moving your data from over 500 data sources simply and reliably into Google Cloud to build your own Gen AI apps or run other data workloads, please do reach out. You can also kick off a 14-day free trial. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care.